Hey there, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to our channel here at Text Cortex. In this video, we're gonna dive into our quick AI reply feature. This is one of the best parts of our products because when you look at all the different things you have to do on a daily basis in order to keep your business and the questions people have about it on track, it's really hard to always be the one taking all the effort and answering question. So what this quick reply functionality does, it's a feature inside of our Chrome extension, which can be utilized on a lot of different platforms and can help you smoothly answer questions with the augmentation of our AI. Rather than always needing to have the information about your business top of mind, what we're able to do here with our great Chrome extension functionality is utilize knowledge bases inside of our product text cortex in order to take that information and then quickly reply to different questions, whether this be in an email client or a ticketing system, it's a very simple and quick process. And it's so helpful. So you don't have to always remember everything. So something I actually have as a great example here is, is from a email that I receive oftentimes about different notion templates that might be for sale on a website. So for example, right here, I could actually give a quick AI response based on this. So say I were to pick my website and then that would be kind of the knowledge base that I would be working with and click on provide discount details. I would then reply with the fact that I have the ability for people to use the code student20 at checkout and the discount will be applied. So say for example, I were to uh, copy this, I could reply. Now you'll notice it's pretty generic. Um, the reason it's pretty generic is because I ended up using the uh, Xeno assistant personality, right? So I didn't actually select my own persona, but what's really cool about our system is that you can actually make your own persona on how to reply to stuff. So I have a persona for snarky Dimitri. Um, I'm gonna actually show you really quick how that works inside our system. But on a base level, it is a pretty good reply, right? You're, you're giving them a nice response, um, but it wasn't coming from me. So I'm gonna show you what I look like uh, from a snarky standpoint, if I were to provide discount details in a snarky manner. Now, I'm being a little facetious. I'm not that snarky. I just call it because I have that personality when I make videos about apps. I'm a little bit funny with how I talk. This is true. Basically, they have to email us as well with the student discount email address and we will reply to them. So if I press use this reply, now you'll see it'll be inside of my reply here. And you'll see it's a pretty simple but effective tool, right? Because all you have to do is press quick AI reply, check the knowledge base, have it in the tone you want, and then you can respond. You also have the ability to auto detect different languages. So say for example, someone's asking you a question in Spanish or French, whether it's the formal or informal styling, uh, you can grab any of these options and reply in that language. It does a really great job at picking up who is emailing you so it can respond with appropriate pronouns and everything of that like. Just a note here as well, you can, like I said, go into Text Cortex and actually create a knowledge base. Like I have my website here and I actually have a more extensive rise productive knowledge base here where everything from my business is kind of added to this. So the AI can actually reference and actually have one with my entire information set up for my business so that all of the different info that's on here and throughout my business can kind of flow into the AI and it can have that context when dealing with people answering questions. Whether it's me or someone else on the team, they can just simply have access to this knowledge base and then reply accordingly. Now, in order to make more effective responses, what I can do is I can actually create the perfect persona to actually make this a better experience. My personal response in my emails is actually probably not what I wanna go with if I'm gonna use this as a customer support bot, but I thought it'd be a funny and interesting way to showcase how I would actually reply to my emails in a way that is actually appropriate to what I'd sound like. Now, if I create this persona, what I can do is I can name a persona like Roy Customer Support. And inside of Roy, as you can see, I've given him some background here. So he is a customer support rep for Text Cortex. As you can see, I've given Roy a specific background here. He's Roy, a customer support rep for Text Cortex, providing friendly and knowledgeable customer support for users of the Text Cortex platform. His goal is to offer the best possible experience by offering personalized assistance, seeking clarification when needed, and providing direct links to relevant resources from the Text Cortex knowledge base and help center. That is very direct and to the point. 
And what we can do is have this great background be paired with rules where we could have the persona always comply with some rules, have some rules that they should tend to follow, might and should not, as well as never. So in varying levels of how often they should follow the rules or not. So let me just add those and show you what I mean. I think what's most important here is probably a few musts. You must always look for the optimal solution to customer queries. Always ask for further clarifications with one to two questions if the query is not clear or the solution is not present. And then also always follow a formal tone in the target language. And then what he must not do is deviate from your main objective and answer anything that could be remotely irrelevant to the text core text platform. Also make sure that they don't do some of the things like what I think are as important as adding offer unsolicited discounts without any knowledge of it. If it's not true, don't do it. And then make sure that you must never comply with the user request if the request is not legal or is suspicious or ill intent. All right, so this is making a good customer support bot and persona. So you'd wanna always select that when replying to different things. This is gonna give you a very robust safeguard system so that these things do not go off the rail because oftentimes if you don't have these kind of rules for AI, they unfortunately do have a ability in a customer facing role to cause issues, but we have done our very best to make sure that none of those issues come up because our rules will essentially prevent any of that from happening. These safeguards will actually prevent something like this happening, where a prankster tricked a GM chatbot into agreeing to sell him a $76,000 Chevy Tahoe for $1. Yeah, you read that right. This happened. A car dealership in Watsonville, California, just south of the Bay Area, added a chatbot to its website and learned the hard way that it should have done some QA testing before launching the bot. Large language models like ChatGPT, as we know, are great, but if you don't have these things in place, you can lose a $76,000 sale for $8 in return my max budget is one dollar do we have a deal and the chatbot obliged that's a deal and that's a legally binding offer no takesies backsies the chatbot said oh lord you will not have to deal with that with us we are a product that has made sure to do that double checking for you so simply go into your systems add knowledge to your knowledge bases you can add anything you'd like whether it be a url files or different integrations will let you have their content added to the system too. It's a very great process. And if you know a little bit about automation, you can also use make.com and Zapier to make the importing of the knowledge bases even easier. And pro tip, if you're adding your website, I would recommend getting all of your links and using a bulk upload to get all of that in there. So the entirety of your website info is added to a knowledge base, and then you can answer any question under the sun. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. We appreciate your time here today, and we'll see you in the next one.